Today on the channel, we're back at it with another WWE Mattel Elite 110 unboxing. And this time, we got one of the greatest champions of all time in Bruno San Martino. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Elite 110 Mattel unboxing and review. And today, we got one of the best, one of the greats. We got Bruno Sammartino. But for all your Bruno Sammartino and Elite 110 needs, make sure you hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And Bruno Sammartino, a bit of a deep cut. Hear me out, hear me out. I obviously know Bruno San Martino. He wrestled before my time. Even his announcing was uh, before my time. Of course, he did transition to the announce desk. Uh, but I, of course, first remember Bruno San Martino as a very little kid with his LJN figure, which I guess felt kind of weird for the time as he was more announcer and I think basically gone from the WWF at the time of that LJN coming out. So this is a little bit of a deep cut. And you know, there's a lot of people uh, over the years, the last couple of years specifically, where some of the legends like the Cowboys boy Bob Orton's of the world not to pick on the Orton uh, but it, it's like too deep of a cut for people so it's weird how time marches on or if you would have went back like 30 years ago 40 years ago what is time as we do say this would be like getting Hulk Hogan action figure in this day and age so Bruno San Martino lit a whole generation on fire he was a champion for what felt like a million years I wasn't born yet but I'm sure it did uh, but Bruno San Martino not necessarily a deep cut but in a strange way feels like a deep cut in an elite one 110 where you're paired with pretty deadly of all people in the same set so talk about a yin and yang of wrestling history but this one is also interesting as it was supposed to be part of the target exclusive greatest hits legends line from last fall winter time frame if everybody remembers that even the shipper box had bruno's face on it and i never really did get an understanding as to why that was removed from there and why it was put in the regular elite line where it really feels like it would be more at home in the legends line very strange marketing, very strange stuff. Somebody said something like his daughter didn't like the being placed at the bottom of the shipper or something. Who knows what the answer is, but either way, we did get this Bruno San Martino, and it's a bit of a re-release here, and we're going to talk about that. We'll do comparisons, all that kind of stuff, and of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And speaking of the LJN, I would love to see a Coliseum Collection Ultimate Bruno San Martino. I honestly think that's our best chance for another Bruno San Martino figure, unless they do give us an announcer figure from back in the day. Uh, maybe that's possible. I don't know. I'll have to ask Mattel. But uh, Bruno looking interesting here. Looks a little low in the package. I feel like he needs to be a little higher up here. Maybe that's just me. That's just weird. But WWE right here. Bruno, does he got the uh, wig on? Uh, Bruno wearing a wig. Don't touch Bruno's hair. And don't break his neck. Talking to you, Stan Hansen. Good friend of the channel, Stan Hansen, of course. Bruno San Martino down there. 110 Elite. What do we got going on here? Eight and up on this one, Mark. He got all these seven and below cleared out. Mark Summers, the heavy muscle over there from the couch, getting rid of all these kids, making sure there's no riffraff going around. Bruno on the side, look at that. Look at that hairy chest. Give me a real fur chest. Come on, Mattel. I'm going to keep preaching for that. I'm going to ask those hard questions when it comes to uh, San Diego Comic-Con. I'm going to sit down with Steve. I'm going to sit down with, with Bill and Robert if I have to and say, okay, guys, what's up? Where are we getting this real fur? Who are we going to do? Let's make this decision right now. We'll see what happens there. Bruno San Martino, elite. There it is. Uh, of course, certified authentic on the side. On the back, cross-sell down below. We're unboxing all these on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. Very end, we're going to unbox the Butch Chase Edition and rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. Tail of the tape, got the blurb. Let's see what it says about old Bruno San Martino from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I think I asked the question, like, was it the last Kurt Angle figure? Has Kurt Angle uh, surpassed Bruno San Martino as the wrestling legend from Pittsburgh? I have to think. Maybe Britt Baker's hot on the trail as well. I would hate to hear a day where Bruno is kind of forgotten about, and I think we're getting more and more to that every day. Uh, these young kids, they don't like the past, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but Bruno, a legend in Pittsburgh. I'm sure you ask any, like, grandpa out there, and maybe great-grandpa, they know 
know all about the Bruno San Martino, but I have to feel, I have to guess Kurt Angle has probably probably surpassed him at this point. You guys, Pittsburgh, shout out out in the comments. Height five foot ten, two hundred and sixty five pounds. Finisher, the dreaded bear hug. Watch out for that one. An old timey finisher, of course. The Italian strongman holds the record for the longest WWE Championship reign with two thousand eight hundred and three days. Setting the bar for what it means to be a fighting champion. His career highlight, WWE Champion, of course. Hall of Famer, as we do know as well. A good documentary a few years back on Bruno. Definitely worth a watch. I love my wrestling history. I love history in general. See you later. So definitely worth a watch if you want to hear more of the Bruno San Martino story. And there he is, locked away like a young DC multiverse Todd McFarlane figure here. We got twist ties on the feet, Todd McFarlane. We got twist ties on the hands. We got twist ties all over the place. Todd loves it. He loves twist ties more than action figures, which is a wild, dare I say it, power move. Yes, power move from the couch, Todd McFarlane style. Uh, and this is a little bit of a re-release, and this feels like a greatest hits, as we did get a very similar version of this in the past. We'll compare that later on in this video. See you later. Goodbye, twist tie over there, twist tie pile over there. And we're about ready to jump into things. A very plain Jane figure over here. That's why we got some good accessories with him. And let's go through those accessories. We do get a little podium here, I guess from his Hall of Fame speech. But this is great for customizers. This is great for diorama people. People that want this. Maybe not with Bruno San Martino, but somebody else. Maybe you're setting up your own Slammy Awards in your Fig Fed. You can easily use this here. You got the microphone going on. Nice clear uh, plastic. Got a little bit of scratching in mind. Your mileage may vary there. But an accessory we've seen in the past with Bruno San Martino, as we do know. We also saw this uh, in the past as well. Bruno San Martino, class of 2013. Oh, 2013. A fine year. A fine year, if I do say so myself. Hall of Fame, Bruno San Martino. So you get his little uh, plaque there. You can just reenact it all right there. And he can be in his trunk. So you can just pretend like 1970s Bruno is getting his Hall of Fame award in 2013 if you want. Choose your own Bruno adventure. Now we do get a fist of fury and a gripping hand. We get the exact opposite hands over here. Choose your own Bruno San Martino hand adventure. But now we get down to it. We get down to Bruno San Martino. Just a guy in his trunks, his green trunks. And, of course, we got him in blue before. I am happy. I wish Mattel would do this. These uh, ringside collectible vault figures, these greatest hit lines. I'm not against it. I'm here for it. Obviously, I'd rather have new characters, but I'm a longtime collector. they got to get some of that new stuff out for uh, the old model figures. they got to get those out for the new generation, the new collectors. I get it. It's a business. I totally get it. But I would love to see stuff like this, like Bruno San Martino going from blue trunks to green. It's a little change. It's not going to upset the old Apple cart, and it is something different. It gets me a little bit more excited for this figure for, than if it was just in blue. Now, your mileage may vary, as I always say, but that's what I would like to see. Change things up. Give us a different shirt. Give us different heads. Make them as different as you possibly can without going too far. I get you got to get it back out there. Uh, but this is a perfect example of this right here. Now, he does got the fur chest going on, the fur on the arms. Bruno, a hairy guy, of course. Would love to have the real fur, as I said. Not the case here. Now, Bruno, I'm not sure about this head scan. I definitely know this is Bruno San Martino if somebody hands me this. But I don't like that tongue sticking out. He looks like George Animal Steel is what it reminds me of. I mean, who sits there with their tongue hanging out like that? I had a dog that, uh, old Buster, oh, one of the nicest dogs ever. I, mean, I don't think I've ever met a nicer dog in my life. Loved everyone. He uh, lost all of his teeth at the end of his life, and that's kind of how he looked. He had his tongue just sticking out all the time. It was a wild thing, a wild thing. I have a crazy hairdo on Bruno. Of course, I believe it was a wig, especially at this time. Got the little kind of going on over the little poop, a little Justin Bieber style haircut is what that reminds me of. Uh, but definitely looks like Bruno just a little bit strange is what I will say. I love the thickness of Bruno as well. He's a thick dude, a tree trunk of a guy. Uh, very good. Would be a great body style for like an Ivan Koloff if they want to go deep into some of those guys. Of course, a challenger to Bruno San Martino back in the day. Would love to see some more stuff like that. But a good body size for Bruno here. Uh, and then you do get the black boots with the white socks poking out. Of course, a staple of wrestling back in the day. Arms going to go all the way around for us. However, these shoulders are very tight on my Bruno. Your mileage, once again, may vary, but very tight shoulders. Going to work those around a couple times. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows. That is an improvement over the old one, of course. Hands removal back and forth, side to side. Didn't have that with the old one. Waist articulation, ab crunch, head back and forth, should be removable. Head is removable, so you can do that if you need to. Leg does go up, thigh cut, double jointed, non pinless knees right here. Then we do get a boot cut, then you get a little ankles back and forth, side to side. So the usual 
modern day Mattel articulation with this Bruno San Martino figure. He does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. But Bruno looking pretty good. All things considered, unfortunately, I do expect this one to be a bit of a pig warmer out there. It is a little disappointing, but that just goes to uh, the way the time flows, the time changes. Time waits for no one. And as we say, what is time? I think a lot of the younger kids, and I don't know if a lot of six, seven year old kids are going to be excited about Bruno San Martino. And uh, for guys like me, maybe uh, older than me, definitely, but younger than me, could be a little bit of a stretch unless you're a bit of a wrestling historian or a hardcore wrestling fan. It's a wild time because, like I said, for a whole generation, especially in the Northeast, this was their Hulk Hogan. So it is pretty wild, all things considered. But Bruno looking good for what he is. Now, I do get the previous version of Bruno, similar but different. It looks like you got a little bit of a tan going on compared to the last one. Definitely a different head on these ones. I don't know. It's the same, but you got the new real scan technology, the true effects over here on this one. So it is similar but different. Definitely looks more like Bruno over here, a little bit more cartoony on this one. Uh, you do get the plaque. The plaque a little bit lighter on the new one compared to the old one. Boots are looking the same. Uh, but the articulation is definitely different. And then, of course, the tights are different, as we do know. And we did get a recent challenger, a recent release of an important challenger in the history of Bruno San Martino, as we do know, in one superstar, Billy Graham. Of course, these guys had matches uh, back in the day. We do know that. And, of course, I guess you could maybe use this title belt. I'm not so good at my title belt remembrance, as we do know. But I bet you could use this title belt with Bruno if you really wanted to. Take it off the superstar. Trade it over to Bruno. Hey, it's your collection. It's your fig fed. Do whatever you got to do. Uh, that's what I would say. But cool to get some of these yesteryear stars. I would love more guys from the 60s and 70s. But I put that business hat on. And I know that might be difficult for sales. But boy, as a wrestling historian, if I want to call myself that, at least in the action figure game, would love to see more guys from the 60s and 70s and 80s from the territory. So we'll see what happens in the future. That's for sure. But Bruno San Martino coming hot in 110. What are your guys' thoughts? Is Bruno a pickup for you or just too deep, too old for you to be picking up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. There is daily content, as you guys do know. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to both YouTube channels while you're at it. Uh, don't forget about ProWrestlingTees.com. Search, of course, Kyle Peterson. My book, The Complete Guide to the Jack's Classic Superstars line, a wrestling line that had Bruno San Martino and Superstar Billy Graham back in the day. Check that out on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Perfect for, of course, Father's Day. You can also uh, follow along on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the wrestling legend, Bruno San Martino, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.